Hello, I'm Jonathan and welcome to Martin Lynch and Sons. A few weeks ago, you may remember we did a video on how to set up a ZUM spot uh, for C4FM on both the FT3 and the FTM300. Well, today, a bit similar, but doesn't involve a Pi Star device at all. We're going to show you how to set up an IC705 with Doozy on a Windows computer. So if you've already got a 705, how to easily get onto the Star network or if you're thinking about an IC705, another trick up its sleeve. So the first thing we need to do is to download the Doozy program onto our Windows computer. So we've gone to the, the website here, which is pa7lim.nl slash doozy. Um, or if you just go to pa7lim.nl and click on Doozy, get you to the same place. And here, so it goes through a few bits and pieces, but what we're gonna do here is go to the link where it says download Doozy from this link. And we're gonna click on that, and that opens up a new tab for us. And then we're just gonna download the version that we see there, Doozy 1.0.0.16. Of course, when you do it, there might be a later version of it, uh, but that's the current version at the time of the video. So we're gonna download that, and then we're gonna extract it and install it. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but it is just a case of, it's a normal installer. There's nothing special to it. It's gonna double click it and install. So next thing we're gonna do is just essentially minimize our web browser and launch Doozy. Now that's a very simple thing to do. There's a few things we need to set up before we do anything. So we're gonna to go to this little configuration tab. And um, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that our call sign is in there correctly. And mine is there, because I've used it before but obviously you're gonna choose whatever call sign you happen to have. Um, and so you're gonna do that. You can update the host files. That should just take a few minutes and it will say that it's just downloaded everything. Uh, and we're also gonna make sure we're on the correct COM port. Now I've got my 705 plugged in over USB. It uh, comes up as two COM ports, COM port seven and COM port six. For my particular application, I need COM port six and I'm gonna click save. Now on the radio, there's a few things we need to do. I'm gonna click on uh, menu and then go over across to uh, two, and we're gonna go up to DVGW for DV Gateway. Now there's a few things we need to just set up here. First thing is we need to do is go to Gateway Select and change, yours will probably be on Internal Gateway by default. We're gonna select External Gateway USB-B. Uh, and then it's just simply a case of going straight to terminal mode. Back on the computer, we're gonna click on in the top left-hand corner and we can see that the radio is connected. Then it's just a case of clicking connect onto whichever reflector we want. And there we go, we can see we are now linked to reflector 30 Charlie. So let's, for instance, say we want to QSY to reflector one Charlie. That's a very popular reflector. If we could do that. And there we go, we found somebody talking. It really is that simple. So there we have it. Very easy to set up, as I think you all agree. And you'll be on the air digitally and over the internet uh, in no time at all. I hope that was uh, of help. Don't forget the podcast, uh, episode three is now up and online. Uh, Gary and I discuss all things amateur radio. And if you want to submit a question for us to do in the next episode of the podcast, uh, please feel free to either comment below uh, or send us an email, uh, just a sales email address, sales at hamradio.co.uk. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>